Good morning. It is Brent Harding and I am your host, of course, for today's Wealth Warriors. How's everybody doing this morning? There is so much going on in the universe today and it is my pleasure to be with you. Glad that you are joining us for 60 Minutes of Wealth. And guess what? It's all about you. Today we're talking about wealth. What do you want? You know, I did a survey. Good morning. It is Brett Harding and I Oh am my, host we do have a challenge this morning. morning. How's everybody I'm doing going to morning? put us on hold there briefly so and fix what we have. We've got today. a little problem. And it is my pleasure to be with you. Glad that you are joining us for Okay. All right, we are back. A little technical difficulty there. And so glad that we got past that one. Here's what I want to share with you. Again, the question, what do you want? We say that we want wealth. Well, guess what? Effective today, we've done so many of the elements that we need to produce wealth that it's now time for us to make it happen. That's right. It's time for us to make it happen. So here's the deal. Again, we've talked about credit. We know that we need to resolve credit in order for us to access what we want. What do we want? We want wealth. What is wealth representative of or how to what what constitutes wealth? Well, we have physical wealth. We have financial health. We have emotional health. We have a uh, uh, mental health. For this for the purposes of what we're doing today, we're talking about the financial wealth. And we know that financial wealth begins with the steps and it ends with the portfolio. One of the most expedient ways for creating wealth is through real estate. In order to get that real estate, we need to take some action and we need to take some action now. And that action for all of our purposes, as we know what ends up happening is when you have a home-based business, you are very definitely going to have people that are going to call you and call you and call you. And so to that end, I do apologize for those interferences. Let's not get deterred. Here's my clear and unadulterated point. And that is this. We need to be about the business of obtaining real estate. I've been thinking about this. I've been talking about this for the entire week. And so I am geared and ready for us to understand that. I'm talking right now to the renters. If you are not a renter, you still want to listen in because you are going to know somebody that is renting and it's time for them to move on to home ownership. Remember, we are first generation wealth babies. When we get into 2016, in fact, April of 2016, guess what? We will then no longer be first generation. We will be the building blocks of the generation that we've now started. But for those of us who are renters, whoever you may be, if you are paying $1,500, $1,800, $2,000, $2,500 or more, you need to be about the business of home ownership because that is the premise of wealth. You know, we own our own businesses. Uh, we work. What all of those elements that we do, really the basis, the crux that you are capable of doing for yourself is purchasing real estate. I had a, a very interesting question asked in a presentation recently, and it sent me down the track that I'm on today, which is why by the end of our discussion, you will be poised, you will be ready. We are starting that infamous club that you've heard me talking about since April. It gets started in October. 
you've got from now until October to start putting together your dollars and cents and being the first of the 10 spots that we have available for working with you to get you your home. We are going to have, we are going to have stories to tell. We are going to have testimonies. The wealth where you're putting our time in every Saturday to not have an outcome, not going to happen. Unacceptable. So here's the deal. If you are a renter and you are spending anywhere from $1,500 a month and up, it is beyond time for you to become a homeowner. I want you to get familiar with some of the tools and information that you're going to need in order to become a homeowner. In fact, I don't even want you to use that word homeowner anymore, an investor, because your first property is the start of your investment portfolio. So let's get familiar with some language that you are going to need as we move forward. Some of the tools of the items I want you to start gathering right now so that you can start living the American dream if, in fact, you want wealth. Now, if you say to me, Brent, I don't, I don't need the real estate in order to create wealth, then you know what? This conversation is, is probably not for you because the basis of that portfolio has got to be something that will produce revenue, that will produce equity for you while you're sleeping. And one of the elements that produces equity for you while you're sleeping is that real estate. You know, there is many a person that uh, has real estate, let's say in the city of Boston, if you go up, there are websites that you can go to and take a look at what that property is selling for right now. I will tell you truly back in 2008, two family piece of property in, uh, let's say the town of Roxbury, two family piece of property, a couple hundred thousand dollars. If you were fortunate, that same property, $400,000 now, three family pieces of property on streets that you would look at and go, are you kidding me? $700,000 right now. So here's my point. If you had that property back in 2008 and it was worth $200,000, you're sitting on $200,000 worth of equity. That is powerful. That is wealth. That is equity that you can pull out of that property and now look at other property to purchase. That's what we're talking about when we say to you, when we say to you that it is the basis, it is the premise, it begets other property. I did that. Incredible. Here was my downfall. Not being smart, not having a coach, not having somebody to talk to about that property, about what do I do next? I overshot my runway. I hung my hat too high. I'm much smarter now, which means I'm better for you as a coach. So here's the deal. Let's get pen and paper. And I want you to start writing out the things that you are going to need right now to be working on. You're going to need to get something called a 1003, a form 1003. That is a mortgage application. And so that you've got the lingo right, it's not called, for those that are investors, for those that are in the know, it is called a 1003. That is your mortgage application. I want you to fill it in. I want you to get comfortable with what it says on it. I want you to get expedient at being at knowing all parts of that mortgage application so that you feel comfortable, that you feel confident, that you know what you're talking about. I want you to get familiar with a term called full doc because this is a full doc loan that we're talking about. It's based on your current income. That's right, it's based on your current income. I want you to go up to one of those free websites and get your credit report. You want all three. You want TransUnion. You want Equifax. You want all three of those. You want Experian and you want to get familiar and you want to get comfortable with the language 
on all of those. You want to get comfortable with the fact that there are three of them. And you want to get that credit report for more than one entity, more than one agency. So in other words, you'll have a credit comma or you have a credit this or your credit that. Get it from Credit Karma, then go to each one of those entities directly and get your credit report pulled. I want you to start looking at that credit report. What information on there is correct and what information needs to be cleaned up, corrected, needs to be made accurate. Tax returns, you are going to need the last two years. So that would be 2014 and 2013. If your taxes are not done because you said, heck, I don't need to worry about it. I don't owe anybody any money. Okay, that's cool. But guess what? Get them done now. Now we are in off season. Prices ought to be better for getting a tax preparer to get that work done for you. You're going to hear something a term, 24 months, 24 months, 24 months, 24 months. Please do not confuse that with two years. 24 months is exactly that. When we say your last two years of employment, what we mean is 24 full months. So sometimes you'll hear two years. And somebody will say, well, I've been, I worked there in uh, 2014 and I'm there now. That's not 24 months. We need 24 months of employment history. If you've got a part-time job and you want to utilize that income for the part-time job, again, 24 months. That is going to be critical for you because we're doing a full doc loan. Now, for some of you have already who have already played in the real estate game, I want to share with you, we're not talking about stated income right now. We're talking about full doc loans. What income you're using right now that will qualify you for that mortgage that you're going after. Any monies that are coming in on a perpetual basis, they're coming in on a monthly basis, and it's been the last 24 months, and you are able to document that, we can utilize that income. So let's say you have a home-based business. Let's say you have a network marketing business. You know that's my business model. So let's say you have one of those. Has it been 24 months? Because if it has been 24 months, we can utilize that income to qualify you for your loan. So right now what we've said, a 1003, we've said that you need to have 24 months of employment history or some sort of history that says that you have revenue generating. We need your tax returns. We're going to need bank statements. Now, I know there are a lot of us that value our privacy. Mm -hmm. We value it. We're talking about the bank statements that show the monies that are deposited into your account that we're going to use for the purposes of your mortgage, for the purposes of your loan approval. So if you've got 10 bank accounts, that's okay. Give me one or two that have that perpetual money in it that shows that you have money going in and we can see that for the purposes of qualifying you for your loan. Now, specifically what we're talking about are the accounts that have the money that you're going to need for your down payment. That's right, for the money, for the money that you're putting into that property that will ultimately create the equity that you will eventually obtain in the property. So right now, actually, that down payment, that does become equity into the transaction. So anywhere from 3.5% to 10% is what we're talking about. So let's say it's a $450,000 piece of property, 3.5%. Do you have 3.5% of that Forty of that four hundred fifty thousand dollars piece of property, fifteen thousand dollars. Do you have that? Those are the accounts that the bank statements will be needed for. Now we're going to look for anomalies. So if you've got a lump sum fifteen thousand dollars, somebody's going to want to know where that money came from. It's called a paper trail. They want to know that the money is clean. The money is clean. So if it's a gift then we need to know where the gift came from. 
If it's a loan, we need to know where the loan came from. And when it comes to your debt, whatever that payment is, that's going to be included as part of your debt ratio. Ratio. That is your income to your debt. So we're going to be looking for your ratio. Typically 28-36, 28% uh, of your uh, income is used towards the purchase of your property. No more than 28% is what a lender is looking for. And with your debt, no more than 36% of your monthly revenue should be allocated to both the, print, the, uh, the mortgage payment and also your personal debt. If it is above that, then we need to take some action to resolve that. Now, here's what I do not want you to do. Please do not go and pay off everything and end up having no cash for the purchase and then say, well, Brent, I want a no down payment or no, yeah, a no down payment transaction. Please do not do that. Let us go over your plan individually. That's right. Let us go over your plan individually because there may be some things we do want you to pay down and there may be things that we do not. I've had, when I was back uh, in my mortgage days, when I actually had a mortgage brokering firm, people would jump ahead of me and they go and they pay everything off. And I would be, who said to do that? Well, I thought in this case, I'm going to ask you, talk to the coach and let us think together and then go out and take care of business. Or, no, I was, I was going to say something, but I won't say it. Let me put it this way. Don't think. Talk to me before you think. How's that? Very well done. So here's what we've gotten so far. If you got a nugget for this morning, if you heard something and it resonates with you, then I want you to go up onto the Elusive Exclusive Wealth Warrior site and what I want you to do is guess what? Mm -hmm. You got it. I want you to go ahead and say hashtag nugget and tell us what nugget you got. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you should have gotten some nuggets. The first nugget that you should have gotten is that you actually know what you want. You want to be wealthy. What's that first step that we're going to do? We're going to start building the portfolio today. Today is the beginning of what you want. So if it's not that piece of property, then guess what? This probably isn't the conversation for you right now. We will have a conversation in the future, but you want certain things. And what you told me was you wanted wealth. And for the past five months, we've been spending time every Saturday morning, even when we did not want to get up, we are up and we're listening and we're taking it in. October is the first group. Do you want to be in the first group of newbies that is in preparation mode to purchase their first piece of property? What's the qualifier for this group? Number one, you must be a renter. Number two, you must be able to share with me and have documentation, get comfortable with that word, documentation, that you are spending at least $1,500 a month on your rent. We need to know what utilities you are paying. Are those current and up to date? If you're paying water, then we want to see it. If you're paying electricity, want to see it. If you're paying gas, want to see it. Why? Because we will have only successes in the classroom. That's right. You are poised for success. So the real estate club, the Wealth Warrior Real Estate Club starts effective October. I will be putting up information on that today, effective October. If you want to be part of the American dream, if you want to create wealth in the most expedient manner through equity from real estate, then guess what? This is now your time. 10 slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're working with the first 10 people that say, Brent, I know what I want. I want wealth and wealth for me is equity in a piece of real estate. Now, are you ready for this? Credit scores. We're looking for folks that are in the 600 range. Oh, <gasps> what? Brent, 
I was told you needed a 727, 58 under credit score. I'm looking to work with individuals that most people say, you're not going to be able to get a piece of property. Your credit score is 650. Your credit score is 610, 620. That's what I'm looking for, is I'm looking for folks that have a, that have a credit score that is anywhere from 600 to 650. We are going to do something amazing. Get you into a piece of property. That's right. Get you into a piece of property. Is that not amazing? Yes, it is, because you're the ones that people most often will say, mm -mm, you can't do it. And yet you're still paying, what, $2,000 a month. You are making somebody else's dreams come true. In fact, you're paying for their dreams, so their dreams have come true. Now, is home ownership for everybody? Well, I'll tell you what, while I believe it is because it's a part of the American dream, it may not necessarily be for everybody. So for those that are ready, for those that want the responsibility, because guess what? With every victory, there's the other side. There are pros and cons, but I got to tell you, the pros will outweigh the cons. For example, you have equity that you build up in your property. You also get the tax benefits of ownership that allows you to file that schedule e that gives you the deductions that mortgage interest deduction which is deducted from your income on your tax return it sets you up for that you get to consider even more so why you want a home-based business because once you get the delicious taste of those tax deductions the next thing you're going to want is another tax deduction remember this if you listen to all of the wealthy individuals, if you read and you study them, what do they talk about? They talk about tax deductions. They talk about reducing those tax deductions. Excuse me, rephrase, reducing your tax base through the deductions that you get. And one of the main ones that you and I can control is our home ownership. When we have our businesses, we are poised for it, but we are not always in control because we've got so many other factors. We've got the people factors when we are in sales. We've got the this factor, the that factor. Believe me, my next venture after you get that property is to say, okay, we need the business because we need as many tax deductions as we can because we want to reduce our tax liability as low as humanly possible. So with that being said, somebody better be hashtagging tax deductions. Somebody better be uh, 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 hashtagging, I want to pay less. You want more and more begins with hashtag equity, hashtag my own home. Those are the most powerful pieces on the planet. So what do we want? We want our own home. We want to be investors. We are investing in our first piece of property and we are investing in a multi property, a multi piece of property. That means a two family or a three family, preferably a three family that we can buy at a great price that we walk into the property with equity. What? Yeah. That's what we're going to be talking about in the club. We want to walk in with equity in the property. And some will say that is not possible. Oh, no, it's possible. It's still doable. Even in this climate, it is still doable, even in the state of Massachusetts. And guess what? We're not relegated to buying that real estate in the state of Massachusetts. However, it's always good to have a home base. And if home base is going to be Massachusetts, guess what? That's where we're buying our first piece of property. Now, remember this about that first piece. It's not the dream home. No, not the dream home. Not for the folks that we're talking about right now. If you are a renter, then I want you to know the probability of trajectory into your own dream home. Is it possible? 
win the lottery? Yeah, it's possible. Have a relative that gives you um, that gives you uh, 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 an inheritance? Yeah, that's possible. Um, have an accident? Yeah, that's possible. Get a payout from the accident? Those things are in fact possible. But those things are not elements that you personally control. So let's work with what you personally control. Wonderful. Are you feeling? Are you feeling enthusiastic? Are you feeling like it's possible? I want you to take the word possible out of your dictionary and I want you to say probable. I want you to say, I am committed to owning a piece of property by April of 2016, if not sooner. I want you to say that I'm going to be one of the first 10. I will be one of the first 10 in that club that starts in October because I'm going to own a piece of property. I am committed to being wealthy. Have you put together your dream board yet? Do you have your dream board set up with the dream house that you will have and with the three family that you're going to get now that leads you to that dream house. Because think about this. You've bought that three family. You've had that three family for a year. That has built up, it's accumulated, it's accumulated value, it's accumulated equity. And now you look at it and you say, huh, I'm going to pull some equity out and I'm going to upgrade to the next piece of property. I didn't say that it was the dream house yet. You remember when Trudy said, we need about three houses? Then we can talk about the dream house because what we have is we've got rental or investment property, rental investment property, rental investment property, and now the dream house. And I got to tell you something. I got something special for you that's going to keep those interest rates reasonable when we move from property to property, because now we're going to work smarter, not harder. So two things that we're gonna be working on right now, pre preparation for that house, and we're gonna be working on our business. Guess what? We're gonna be able to do those simultaneously. That's right, we're gonna be able to do those simultaneously, but we're gonna get started with the preparation. Are you ready? So all the time that you've spent watching the show, listening to the broadcast, it is not in vain. Now, for those of you that already own property, no worries, because we are going to hit you up as well. But what we want is we need to have some of our folks need to catch up with you. And then for those that already have property, I got something for you that I'm working on, and it is a delicious I am working on something for you so that we are going to be a mighty and powerful group of 100,000 people around the world. You know, a journey like this, a movement, does not happen overnight. It takes time. It takes preparation. Because see, here's the deal. We do not want any setbacks. We do not want any fallbacks. We do not want three steps forward and two steps back. That's not what we want to do. And so in order to avert that, to stop it, we've got to be prepared for it. So now the journey begins. Everything that we've done is preparation for now. Or as I like to say, it is showtime. Dress rehearsal is over. Action is now taking place. If you are serious, if you are truly serious, then now is your time if you are serious. Now, what you also need to do is you need to help some others. Other people need to hear this so that they can get in preparation. Although we have 10 that are going to be the model group, us as that group of 10 led by a coach or a series of coaches is going to be the model for the others to follow. And what's our journey? What do we poised to do, we're going to reach back into the barrel and we're going to pull somebody else up. Reach back into the barrel and pull somebody else up. That's what our journey is going to be about, is helping the next person get to their destination so that we've got others that we can work with. Can you imagine right now, 
having a group of real a club members that you're able to say, hey, you want to get in on this deal? You want to get in on this deal? You want to get in on this deal? And they come together and we purchase real estate. And guess what? We need to start looking at other areas. There are some prime locations that you can be purchasing property in right now. In fact, in those prime locations, you've got to purchase multiple period pieces of property. And that truly catapults you to the level of investor. So the renters, get ready. You are not going to be renters very much longer. Then there'll be a new group that need to rent before they purchase so that they can get poised and get comfortable. And then we will move them into trajectory. It also means for those head of households, your children need to be a part of the process. They need to understand so that, guess what? At a young age, they have experience and they can go into their next piece of property. You know, I talked to uh, a gentleman that is an investor yesterday and he shared with me that his daughter bought her first piece of property at 19 years old. 19, she owned her own first piece of property. How many of us would like that for our children? To get them poised and ready so that they become part, not only of the American dream, if you will, but they create that legacy. We have a paradigm shift. Let's make it a paradigm shift. How about that? That's what we have the power to do. Well, I tell you what, we're at the half hour. Have you invited somebody onto this broadcast this morning? If you have not, then I want you to tweet out, join the Wealth Warrior broadcast right now. Join the Wealth Warrior broadcast right now. Because send them the link, get them clued in. Why? Because it is our time. Everything is led up to now and we are poised and ready. How many of you, show of hands, how many of you are going to have a piece of property come April of next year? How many? Two hands? How many of us are going to have that property? My personal plan, I'm ready to get back into another piece of property in December. I am that serious about it and I will report my progress as we go along. Don't make the December date, but I'm not giving myself an out. But I got a backup plan. Plan A, plan B. Plan B, April with the rest of you. Plan A, come December. That's the mission. Are you ready? Go on up. We're going to share. We're going to tweet out. We are going to hashtag out. We are going to let the universe know, put it in the universe, that we want to be homeowners. We want to be investors. We have a deadline we are committed to. It's a process. And the thing is, some of us got some catch up to do. I shared with you earlier that there was a question that really moved me this week and it has reverberated in my mind. And the question was, are you where you said you would be 10 years ago? What does that mean? That means 10 years ago, did you say that you would have a piece of property? 10 years ago, did you say that you would be an investor? Has that happened yet? Now, here's the other powerful question. What you are doing right now, is that going to get you there? Whatever you're doing right now, is it going to get you to where you said 10 years ago you would be? If it is not going to get you there, then you need to chop it off. And I'll tell you what, I started doing some chopping this week because it hit me so phenomenally hard that it has really created a transformation. You know, some people say, oh, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change that. Mm-mm. You, we need to transform because change is linear. You know, like the buzz. Mm. Transformation. Whoosh. It's a trajectory. And that's the place that we want to be. That it's a trajectory that we can barely explain because whoop, it happened. Whoop, it happened. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about trajectory to get us where we must be, where we have to be, if in fact we want to create wealth. So let me hit you by ages right now in terms of the wealth. If you are in your 20s, I want to congratulate you. If you are watching this broadcast, I want to congratulate you because you are going to get a wealth of the benefits of all the other members here. Because, I, oh my goodness, you know, I will tell you this, one, going back into my 20s, if I could do that now, having the brain power, I think I would be dangerous. I'm sure there are many of us that would say the same thing. But if you are in your 20s, I want you to be listening clearly because you have probably the greatest opportunity of all of us. Because what will happen is from a retirement point of view, you will structure yourself such that you will be what we like to say is all set. That's right all set. And that's a powerful position to be in. It's an exciting position to be in. Now, some of you are going to say, Brent, I'm not making the money to afford all of these things. I'll tell you one thing. We will help you find a way because you will pay now, but you will live a lifestyle that will not require you to get caught up. If you're in your 20s, fantastic. If you're in your 30s, I want you to be compelled to take action. Be compelled to take action because your time is short, 10 years short. So you're not playing catch up, but it is time for you to take action. If you were in your 40s, you are in catch up mode. If everything isn't structured, you're in catch up mode. If all your monies, and all your investments are tied up in 401ks, 403B, 403Bs, if they are tied up in those kind of instruments and they don't have a solid base, uh, a physical base, that real estate to fall, up, fall back on, we know it's up and down on a consistent yes. If you do not have the insurances in place, not just a uh, homeowner's insurance, but if you have not if you do not have some insurance investments, if you've not stacked it so you've gone from the riskiest to the most secure, then I tell you, run, don't walk, run so that you can get caught up. If you are in your 50s, you're probably on resuscitation right about now. That's right, because catch up you are going to be doing everything all at once. And your head is going to feel like it's spinning. But if you want to live the lifestyle that you said you wanted to have, then you are on life support and you need to be one of those first 10. Truly one of those first 10 because you're on life support. But there's good news. You can get caught up. There's good news here. Because we're not going to give you all the bad and leave you hanging. We're going to give you some good news too. The good news is we're all in this together. The good news is we are going to make it happen. And it starts October. That's right. We've had some bumps along the way, but no more bumps. We are out of dress rehearsal. We are on to being categorically serious. That's right categorically serious about making it happen. Now, the question is, are you ready? The question is, are you willing? And are you willing to share what you learn? You know, one of the best ways to learn is to share it. Take that information in and then teach it to somebody else. I know I talk with my hands a lot. I'm going to work on that but learn it and then teach it to somebody else. Because when you do, it stays reinforced in your brain. It stays reinvoiced, uh, uh, re, um, oh my goodness, I'm having a brain burp here. It is reinforced in you and they get to learn and you get to learn. If you want to practice on your children, teach them, help them, give them assignments that, and make it a family affair to get that investment piece of property. Because once it gets in their blood, 
They're going to spur you on. They're going to move, motivate, encourage, and cajole you to get to your destination. And that is going to be ultra exciting, ultra exciting. On your mark, get set, let's do this. So let me ask you, what did you get up so far out of today? Have you gotten out that you do know what you want? Because the show was about wealth. What do you want? And I shared with you, most people will give you a whole list of all the things they don't want. And then you'll say, okay, now that you've told me that, what do you want? That's usually the reaction I get. So I want you today to take that pen and paper and tell us what you want so that you can make those dreams your reality. If you are serious about wealth, then I'm going to tell you the first thing that you want is you want your first piece of investment property. Notice the language, piece of investment property. What type of piece of investment property? Three family, or as Trudy says, a multiplex. And for those of you that have been watching the broadcast, you know who Trudy is. And she talks about the multiplex. You're talking about credit. We want to talk to Cheryl. See, we ought to know these people on a first name basis because they are part of our team. They're part of our Wealth Warrior team. We're going to deal with real estate brokers. We're going to deal with real estate investments, investors. We're going to want to deal with private transactions. We are going to get amazingly good at becoming wealthy. Do I know it all? No, I'm a student. Just like all of you, we are students. We are students in the course of creating wealth. I am linking us with individuals that are going to help us endeavor to grow further. There is actually a tax exempt or a nonprofit organization. Can you believe this? There is a nonprofit organization that we're going to be linked with that's going to give us courses, expand us on wealth. And so, what we will be turning this broadcast into, in part, will be a recap of some of the courses. It will be new information. It will be newsworthy because we're going to not only start studying, but we're going to start sharing those news bits with you. For example, we talked about, I shared briefly last week, the job report talked about the fact millennials as well as our baby boomers really need to look at, no, not look at, they need to take action on becoming entrepreneurs. Why? Because the job market is changing dramatically. Because the job market is not paying us the way that we, they're not paying us necessarily what we believe we are worth. Many of us, 44% of the U.S. of the United States adult population cannot meet their monthly obligations. 44% of us are not getting paid enough to meet our monthly obligations. 50% of our 50% of our college graduates do not have a job. And you know what happens at that point? We fall into a state of despair. Despair no more because we are being guided into entrepreneurial endeavors entrepreneurship. And you know what entrepreneurship does? It allows you to do business well around the world. And what did we say we want to be? We said we want to help 100,000 families around the world to create wealth, a movement. So that's why, you know what? I used to say I'm a serial entrepreneur. The language has changed. I'm a global entrepreneur now. That's right, global. Who of you are global entrepreneurs? That's the question. So when we are talking about what do we want? We want wealth. What do we want? We want wealth. How are we going to get it? We're going to be investors. How are we going to get it? We're going to be global entrepreneurs. We are going to create wealth. And what are we going to do? Leave a legacy. 
That's right, we're gonna leave a legacy. With all that being said, what are we gonna be doing this week? What is your homework assignment? Your homework assignment is to get a 1003. Go online, get a mortgage application, henceforth known as a 1003, and fill it in and get comfortable with it. Gather your documentation now. Get a paper folder. Put the documents in the paper folder. Fill in the information. If you've been self-employed for two years and you have the tax returns for that, fill it in. If you are a renter and you've been spending at least $1,500 a month, fill it in. That's your assignment this week. Download a 1003, fill in the application. That's all I'm asking you to do is fill in the application. Next, I'm asking you to get your two years of tax returns. Have them scan them, have them in a folder. So you have an electronic folder and a physical folder. So in your physical and electronic folder, thus far, we have the 1003. We have your tax returns, and I want you to pull your credit reports. Now, those things can all be done electronically. Those are the items that you are going to need, plus the bank statements or the investment statements or wherever the money is located at, other than under the bed, it's got to be documentable monies. I want you to put all of those into an electronic file as well as a paper file because we're starting the building blocks for getting to the destination called wealth. And wealth begins with two components. We own a business, we have some real estate. Now we can do them simultaneously. Okay, let's figure out how we can do two or three things at the same time. So if you've got your job, that's one cost center. You got a business, that's another cost center. You got real estate, that's a third cost center. How about that? What's a cost center? That's where the revenue is coming from, or going, or I should say, where the revenue that we are building is located at. So your first, jo your job becomes your first cost center. That's 101. That's income that comes from the job. The second income is coming from that business. It could be reverse. It could be the second income is real estate, or the second income is, in fact, that business that you have. And then your third one, if you do not have real estate, that's the portfolio, that's your real estate. And the reason we'll say that it's cost center 103 is that it's going to bring in revenue with that three family piece of property because we're going to do the right structure to make that happen. Are we good with that? I certainly hope so. So I anticipate and expect that there should be some hashtags around what we have taken in today. We have put the fingers to the keyboard and we have hashtagged out. We know what the homework assignment is. We're in school now, we are students. Are you a student of wealth? Are you seriously a student of wealth? Who are you reading about when it comes to wealth? I wanna know, who are you reading about when it comes to wealth. Are you reading about Warren Buffett? Or are you reading about somebody else? Are you reading about people that most people have not heard of and yet they are wealthy? Who is the wealthiest? Who is the wealthiest person in Mexico? Who owns the energy? Who owns this, this, and this? Are we reading about them so that we know how to create our wealth? When did you last read Think and Grow Rich? Have you started reading it again? Because every time you read it, we should be getting something else from it. Powerful. That's right, powerful. Business, real estate, our lives. We matter, do we not? Everything begins with you. So no, this isn't a pep talk and a pep rally. No, it's not that. This is a plan. This is a portfolio. This is purposeful. That's what today is about. So we are on two tracks. That's right, two tracks to wealth. One is our business. What business are we in that gives us the tax benefit? of owning a business. See, some of you have said, well, why do I need to own a business? Taxes. 
We want to keep it. You know, it's what is what is that old adage? It's not about how much you make. It's a well, it's about that too. But it's more important about how much can you keep? How much did you make and how much did you keep? We can save money. Personally, we save, we have a, we have whatever institutions we're saving money. We're causing money to be created from that money that we save because we invested it. Yes. We also can reduce our tax base. When we reduce our tax base, we keep more money. We are going to have Uncle Sam and cousin and cousin uh, uh, Jimmy. I call right now that cousin Jimmy is is the state. So we are going to have Uncle Sam and cousin Jimmy. They're going to be there. But we're going to reduce the amount of money. Let them go get some money from someplace else. They got to earn their money too. That's what we're talking about today. So not a pep talk. You've got homework assignments. We are about the business of creating wealth. Are you ready? Because it's on your mark. On your mark is getting the plan together. Get set is we're about to hit the gauntlet for execution. Go! We just executed. On your mark, get set, go. Am I serious today? Oh man, am I serious today? Am I feeling it today? Yes, I'm like Larry King Live, just changed my whole scenario. Because the question, the most powerful question that I have heard this week, you got it. Are you where you said you would be 10 years ago? Second most powerful question, whatever you're doing now, is it going to get you there? Answers, only you have them. However, if you are not where you said you would be 10 years ago, and if what you're doing is not going to get you where you need to be, then guess what? You need a transformation. And I am so blessed and fortunate to be able to help you with both of those. We've got a club, doors open in October. If you are interested in owning your own business right now, and you are willing to do the work that's necessary, and you are coachable, then I invite you to inbox me, to email me at brentharding617 at gmail.com so we can get you into a business. And guess what? You will have the tax benefit of that business this year in 2015. That's all we got, folks. It is simple because we're going to make it simple. It's progressive because we're going to make it progressive. And guess what? For all of us, we can get caught up. We're going to collapse time. We're going to compress time. You give us 36 months of the 60-month plan, and you will be living your life and joining us on the beaches of the world. How about that? The beaches of the world for me starts next month. I head to Dubai. Wouldn't you like to be doing things like that? And while I'm heading to Dubai, money will be made. That's what I want to happen for you, is while you're living your life, money is being made for your household. I am deadly serious for you. With that being said, we are close to the top of the hour. I want to leave you on a high. And that high is in 60 months, well, actually in 55 months from now, mark your calendar. You will be a real estate investor. You will have cash value in your pocket. You will be with us on probably our third conference, our third third convention, and all goes the way that we planned, it will be a global experience. You will not only own property in your hometown, in your home city, 
but you will own property in other countries that you can go to. You will have businesses in other countries. Money will be coming from other areas. We are going to have a woman on the broadcast very shortly who is going to talk to us about attracting money, about the law of attracting to us. Have you ever been in a circumstance where you gravitate towards a person or people start gravitating towards you? It's because of the energy that you have. We're going to pluck it from the air. You remember when Robert talked about being committed? When you are committed, when you have commitments, things come to you. Are you ready? I certainly hope so. It has been my pleasure to be with you this morning. It has been my pleasure to leave you on a high note. I am so excited for your universe. All of you know me, Brent Harding. I am the founder of The Wealth Warriors and The Wealth Commitment. Actually, we are The Wealth Commitment and we are warriors. You know I've adopted Trevor Ott's statement? Today, go out and be amazing. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.